Bargaining is trying to work together to solve the problems that we're at in education now. Bargaining is trying to come to a compromise to make it work best for everybody that is put into the situation. It shouldn't be seen as where one position or one group is against the other group. It should be where it's groups working together to try to solve our problems that we're having uh, in the workplace or in the workforce or anywhere at this point. Bargaining for us has been a wonderful collaboration of getting our members together, um, hearing what they want. You know, I was in the old union, the the union previous or uh, prior to BVCEA, and um, we, you know, I, I don't remember too many people asking what I felt about um, my benefits or my pay or anything. You know, they just, it, it was kind of status quo. You just did whatever the district told you to do. And now it's kind of interesting to see that we don't have to do that. We can take our own views and our own wants and our, our wish list and say, this is what the employees are asking for. I'm here to learn how best to bargain to make schools best for teachers and educators and ESPs and mostly how to make it best for students. The camaraderie. The, the talking to people that are um, at the conference, um, you have you have the whole gamut. You have teachers, you have um, bus drivers, and you see them sitting down talking to each other, you know, over a cup of coffee or um, over breakfast, over dinner. So um, it's it's been very interesting to to hear some of the conversation. You know, I'm kind of like a sponge. I just want to learn. Yeah. So and I, I like these kind of conferences. One of the things that I'm really enjoying is I'm going into a training called IBS, and the IBS training is where the two sides come in and actually do work together. It's not one position to, against another position, it's the two groups coming to a session together to sit down and make it work, not where you're trying to get the largest leverage over the other person, but working together to come out with the best solution and situation for education. It is the interest-based system, and the interest-based system works that way, that you have two people come in, you tell your story each side, you both work on options together, you both work together to come to that compromise or consensus, really, it's a consensus. Everybody has to agree, everybody has to work, that's the school board, and there are some situations, the administration, the teachers, everybody working together to come to a great compromise. We need to train people because you cannot be in a district in this position um, to do bargaining for 15, 20 years. I mean, you know, you need to get new blood in there, you need to get new faces. You need to get people in there that can give new ideas and, you know, kind of bring it up, bring it up to speed. Our bargaining system works pretty well in Grand Junction. We have a board and an administration and an association that all really want to work together to make it the best situation. We're very lucky because we do have a group that all want to work together to make it best for students. The teachers have, in our district, have had some rough years um, with all the cuts. You know, we've lost, we, we've lost teachers, yet they're, they're gaining administrators. So uh, how do you balance that? I mean, how do you, how do you justify that? So that, that's the question I have, you know, for our district. Last year was very difficult. This year we're not gonna, we're gonna be prepared for them. Um, we have a new superintendent. We also have a new HR director. So this year's gonna be very, very interesting for us. We're, we're looking forward to it. We're all in education, whether administration or teachers, ESPs, we're all in this together and we are having a hard time, especially with funding and money at this point, due to the economy and due to just the situation that's going on in the United States today. And we're going to take back that it is something that everybody's got to start working together to make it the best system and best policies. I think it's going to be interesting. You know, there's not a whole lot of money out there, so um, we have to be creative in what we ask for and how we ask for it. CEA is doing a wonderful job. They sure are trying to make this where bargaining and working together and taking the lead in going forth and making sure that students have the best education, teachers have great workplaces, make it best for ESPs, make it best everywhere so everybody can see that Colorado will be a leader in education.
in the United States.